The piece of research we published in May, I think, uh, which was into SMEs and speaking to the owners and managers of SMEs, some really interesting statistics in that. I mean, the one that really sprung out for me was the 20% of them said they were using cloud services, but when we asked them what applications they were using in their business, in actual fact, 48% of them were using cloud services. So that, to me, was a prime indication of people really don't get quite what cloud is yet. I think they're a little afraid of it. They hear it, I think particularly for SMEs, it sounds like a very corporate thing, whereas in actual fact it's quite the opposite. It's allowing SMEs in ways to act like a corporate or access services they couldn't pay for themselves as a small business maybe, but they can now consume in a different way over the cloud. So I think there's lots of misapprehension out there. It's just a different way of consuming services, a different way of consuming IT basically. And certainly if you look at what we do in the cloud space, it's very much the pushing out of applications from the cloud. The fact that they sit in a data center somewhere, it just means the company doesn't have to worry about that, doesn't have to build the servers themselves, doesn't have to manage them all that stuff. So I think again, yeah, even the, uh, the term probably helps to confuse people sometimes. It makes it sound too difficult, you know. If you just talk to them about here's something that will, you know, allow you to consume services on a range of different devices wherever you are, well that'll click. I understand what that'll do for my business. I think it comes back to that, that consumers aren't hung up on the label. They don't think of it as cloud, it's just an application they know can add some value to them. Uh, whereas in a business it's more of, you maybe start with, well, what's it going to be different from what I have today? What are the potential dangers? It maybe starts with a negative attitude. And the interesting one for me is always security. People talk about security and what it means having your information in the cloud. And of course you've got to make sure as a business that you're happy with that. But in actual fact, the possibility of having somebody with a, a big, uh, who's able to do this in an industrial way for a range of customers in absolute top class data centers compared to a server sitting under the MD's desk in the SME that is updated and patched and whatever, maybe it's done exactly as it should, maybe it's not. There's certainly the advantage to be far more secure if you do it properly in the crowd with the right kind of partners. So again, I think it's the, the fear bit is there. It's cloud, it's my data is going to be sitting somewhere else, I don't have control of it. And I suppose what we see as somebody is trying to promote cloud services is that we have to reassure people around that and let them see the benefits uh, and let them understand where those risks can be managed in a way they can be happy with. I think you've, you've hit the nail on the head though of why cloud is so interesting and exciting for us as a company with a heritage in mobility because it really is around enhancing mobility for customers. So for us it's about talking to customers and understanding what they do with their business, what their sales guys do when they're on the road, what tools they have, what difference it might make if they were able to access while sitting in front of a customer what they access at their PC back in the office. So it really is around that mobility. How can mobility help the customer's business? And in reality what that is, is it's something that's sitting in a cloud and the right application and the right devices and managed in a secure way for the customer. But it really is around that. And it's interesting because if you look at it in our current economic times, so many people are focused on cost, of course. But what we also find is that if you can also have that conversation conversation which is yes do it cost effectively and people would be familiar with they expect cloud to be cheaper they expect it to be a per seat kind of thing and it is but the really interesting stuff is well what can you do to actually drive your business how can you use cloud how can you use mobility to really drive the business and that's where we find customers getting excited about it that it's great so I can my server's running out of warranty I can get rid of the server I can put in the cloud that's great but actually this means you know my salesman can open up the PowerPoint on his tablet in front of the the customer, he can take an order, he can maybe take a signature, an electronic signature, he can have it back into our back-end system before he leaves the customer's premises. That's when it really gets interesting. So it really is the cloud and mobility coming together, I think, is the big thing. I suppose there's a few things. I think if you take from a network perspective and what will happen with the networks, the vision has got to be you can do anything anywhere. I mean, it really is. It's data everywhere. It's whatever you might expect on the best possible fixed broadband. You're going to be expecting that mobile very quickly. And we as an operator are going to have to find a way of delivering that, and we will. That's, that's how we'll continue to meet our customers' needs. What you do with the data gets really interesting, because I think what happens more and more, the, the industry term of big data, very big theme at the moment. Because it's, yes, there'll be a tsunami of data, but the trick then will be how do you manage it, how you retrieve it, how do you provide security around it, all those things. Um, so I suppose what will happen is the storage and management of the data might become more of a specialism. You'll probably have fewer people with very large data centers, which again really plays into the cloud idea. 
uh, who will manage that, and then it's the services you can provide from the data center to the customer is probably the key thing. But if you take then a customer who says, you know what, I don't like this cloud thing, I'm going to keep doing it myself, they're going to have exactly the same issues. They're going to have the same tsunami of data. Their one server under the desk will become 10 servers under the desk, <laughs> if I take that analogy. So in actual fact, it, it will be a further drive or two. I really need people who are specialized, who know how to run data centers, who know how to industrialize all of that, to manage it, to make the retrieval easier for me. All of those things will be key for, for companies as well. We're part of a larger company, we're part of Telefonica, fourth largest telco in the world. So something like that allows you to scale to do some of these things globally. Uh, so you build the very large data centers, you maybe build a few of them in different places around the world and you've back up and redundancy between them and it allows you to provide services in countries as well. So that would be kind of the vision of where we would expect to take it, rather than we're going to build a big data center here in Dublin to serve our Irish customers, just won't scale because it is going to get so large and so big. So you, you can do it in a better way by doing it more with a global view.